Good morning to, to you, my brothers and sisters. Today, I want to be discussing about the Book of Mormon's false teachings. And I want to explain to you about the prophet Joseph Smith, where Joseph Smith says that he had received a revelation. Some of the revelation was of God and some of the revelation was of man and some revelation are of the devil. But Joseph Smith couldn't tell it all. So my my question is, as the believers of people that are Mormons, they will tell you that there was a time in Joseph Smith's life that he was getting ready to go to a church that he needed to find. And he didn't know what direction of a church to go to. So the Lord... Jesus Christ gave him an inspiration. And that inspiration is the right church that he would go to. But Joseph, Joseph Smith was a false prophet, I want to say to you, because Joseph Smith did not know the way. Even though he felt that he was given a revelation, he did not know the way. He did not know the way of God. He did not know the way of how to become a prophet. A prophet of Jesus Christ. And that many Mormons feel that he would come in the order of the Melchizedek priesthood. The only priesthood that we have that God didn't send his domain was Jesus. And see, the Book of Mormons, I want to say to you, brothers and sisters, it don't, it don't contain any starvation. For the Christian world, nor for the Muslim world, no, for any congregation that preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. The latter saints believe that they are the only ones are chosen and that they are the only ones of Christ Jesus. But do they preach Christ? That's the question I want to get to. Do they preach Christ? See, I want to talk more on Joseph Smith because Joseph Smith wanted in America. Because at one point in time, he wanted America. He, he wanted the country to rule. He wanted his religion, which is Mormons to be the top nation. Joseph Smith, at one point of his life, he was a criminal. Joseph Smith owned a lot of money to people. And he was constantly on the move. He started from New York and he went on into Missouri, when he got locked up in Missouri prison, Joseph Smith escaped from Missouri prison on April 15, 1839. Joseph Smith was allowed to escape after the sheriffs and three of the guards drank whiskey while the fourth guard helped them saddle their horses for the escape. Now, this is wicked. This is evil. So how dare can any one of the Mormon believers say that he was a good prophet? Good prophet that they say he was. But there's no evidence to say that he was even a prophet. See, Joseph Smith, he changed the game. See, brothers, in your life changes, you want to do good. 
you try you try your best to try to seek Jesus Christ, but not in not in all the wrong motives. So it was coming to a point of Joseph's life that he was to be the biggest game player that he can possibly be. Now, I want to say this is all in the wrong motive of, of Joseph Smith's life. If you are a prophet of God, and if you come to serve God, see, God is going to try you. And he tried, he tried some of his prophets, but he's going to try you. So I want to say, as the book of First John mentioned, beware of false teachings, dear children. This world, the last hour have come. You have heard about the Antichrist who is coming. The one who is against Christ is already. Many such person have appeared. This make us all more certain that the end of the world is near. These are against Christ. People used to be members of our churches, but they never really belong with us or else they will have stayed. So we know the latter, the latter saints, they're not of Christ, but they want to say they are the first people in Christ. Because if you are Christ, you do everything what Christ tell you to do. See, Christ was the beginning. In the end. And so when he died those 2,000 years ago, everybody was looking for a new ruler, a new master. They wasn't looking on, on the coming of the Messiah. Since he died 2,000 years ago, we're going to forget about it. We forget everything what he did. And then you put a new prophet, Joseph Smith, where Many people may not heard of Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith was originate was originated in 1830. But was he really was a good prophet of God? Was he coming in the world to save life, to restore life, to give life to the world, to save and win souls? But he came to be wicked as he can possibly be. So I want to say to you, my brothers, the Book of Mormons, it can't give us a starvation today. It can't save the condition of our people that they've been in all this time. Jesus has to come to improve a world from a condition. When Jesus came, he said, I came to save the lost souls that was lost. And I came to reach the teachings of the gospel. And to beware of all of these false things documents that came because they would deceive you if they can see the enemy they don't have no place in starvation not in this time but they are really on the job to deceive me and you I had a couple of brothers I met that that was Mormons But I know that the time that we are in and the time that we are in, you got to be always on alert because the enemy is, is on his job. So I want to say this. Joseph Smith was no more than a false prophet to come. He wanted a United States of America. He wanted 
a religion that he can basically rule so now this was his plan and this to me this is wicked because he 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 wanted the organs and he wanted to be a ruler So with that being said, Joseph Smith was a game player. He knew how to manipulate system. He knew how to get what he what he want. So this only teach me and you of the Antichrist. We don't have to wait for years after years. We don't have to wait for a decade. The Antichrist is already here, brothers and sisters. Choose your religion. Because the book of the book of um, Mormons can't reach our people in this time of their hope or their starvation. They're giving you a false teaching that don't contain any starvation for the black man in America. So I want to say to you, with all due respect, seek refuge in your God and put your trust in God. Not telling you don't read of the Bible. The Bible is a way for eternity. I'm not saying for you not to read the Quran because I'm a Muslim myself. And as a Muslim, I read my Quran and I read my Bible. And I was told from other people that are Mormons, read the book of Mormons, how you're how you're reading going. You know. They're only trying to leave you astray from your God. But with all due respect, I sit down and have study with these with these people just to see where their minds is. But I know the time and I know the hour that what the Messiah says that you must be aware. In this time. So I wanted to say to you. With all due respect. I'm not here to. Put. Any religion down. But all I'm saying. And all I'm giving in this hour. In this time. Is the truth to my people. That's all. So you can either take it or let it alone. What I just said to my people is they giving us false teachings to deceive me and you. May the God of peace be with his people.